इट इज राइटली सेट दैट गणित शास्त्राध्ययन आपात मधुर आद्यंत सुखदम Many impossible and difficult problems of arithmetic are easily dealt by algebra. See, the question is if P, Q, R are rational numbers, show that this quadratic equation in x, x square minus 2px plus this number equal to 0 has rational roots we have to prove that this equation has rational roots is the thing which is to be proved now clearly p q r are rational numbers now the coefficients of x square you see 1 is a rational number minus 2 p is a rational number obviously p square minus q square minus 2 q r plus r square everything that this particular term is also rational so we are given a quadratic equation with coefficients rational now just try to find delta of this particular equation if this delta is positive and delta is perfect square the roots are going to be rational so let us check with the delta for the given quadratic equation, delta is b square minus 4ac, I am going to compute. b square means minus 2p whole square minus 4 into a stands for 1 and c is p square minus q square plus 2qr minus r square, which is this is 4p square, right? So you can take 4 common, you will get p square minus p square plus q square minus 2qr plus r square. Now these two will be out. And you can write it as 4 into q minus r whole square which is 2 into q minus r whole square. You see, clearly delta is given, this is greater than or equal to 0. If q is equal to r, delta may be equal to 0. If q is different from r, this expression will be positive. So, no doubt at all, the roots are going to be real. Because we can't say equal or distinct. Moreover, if at all the roots are equal, both are minus b by 2a, the roots are rational. You see, now if q is equal to r, delta is 0 implies the coefficients are rational and delta is 0, the roots are rational and equal, anyhow rational. Suppose if q not equal to r, delta is positive and perfect square, perfect square. By our algorithm, a, b, c are rational and delta is perfect square, the roots are going to be rational and distinct. So, in either of the case, the roots are going to be rational and hence we proved that for this equation, the roots are rational. Let me repeat, quadratic equation is given, coefficients are rational, I computed delta which is like this. Now, if q is equal to r, delta is 0, the roots are rational. If q not equal to r, delta is positive and perfect square, the roots are rational. And hence, any of the case, the roots of this equation are going to be rational. Let us go to the second concept, that is, relation between roots and coefficients of a quadratic equation. For example, our quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. We know the two roots are minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Now, let us take up sum of the roots alpha plus beta. If I sum these two, you see 
let me write here the denominator is going to be 2a I am going to add these two whereas the numerators will be minus b plus root of b square minus 4ac plus minus b minus root of b square minus 4ac now you can cancel these two terms so that this is minus b plus minus b by 2a which is minus 2b by 2a which is minus b by a that means if you are given a quadratic equation without finding the roots you can say sum of the roots the sum of the roots is nothing but minus coefficient of x coefficient of x by coefficient of x square is the result similarly you just consider product of the roots alpha beta that means I am going to multiply these two let me write denominators product 2a into 2a is going to be 4a square and numerators if it is like x plus y that is going to be x minus y the product will be x square minus y square let me write here x square minus y square means root of b square minus 4ac whole square which is going to be b square minus b square minus 4ac by 4a square which is 4ac by 4a square which is c by a c by a that is we can say that c stands for constant term by coefficient of x square this is a very very important result let me tell you if you are given a quadratic equation without finding the roots you can find the sum of the roots as well as product of the roots for example your equation is x square plus 3x plus 5 equal to 0 if this is the equation if it has roots alpha comma beta alpha plus beta is nothing but minus x coefficient 3 by x square coefficient 1 minus 3 is going to be alpha plus beta and product of the roots alpha beta is constant term 5 by x square coefficient 1 5 this is the point that means when a quadratic equation is given we can find sum of the roots product of the roots as minus b by a and c by a respectively you see find the sum and product of the roots of the quadratic equation 3x square minus 8x plus 1 equal to 0 for this suppose the roots are say alpha beta now sum of the roots alpha plus beta is according to the formula minus b by a that is minus of x coefficient by x square coefficient x coefficient is going to be minus 8 by x square coefficient is 3 and hence it is 8 by 3 now product of the roots alpha beta is c by a that is constant term 1 by x square coefficient 3 alpha beta is 1 by 3 so likewise we can find the sum and product of the roots for a quadratic equation you see this observation let us consider a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 whose roots are alpha comma beta now what I am going to do is take this expression ax square plus bx plus c and since a not equal to 0 take a common you will get x square plus b by a into x plus c by a let me write it as a into x square minus of minus b by a into x plus c by a 
now we know that minus b by a is nothing but alpha plus beta c by a is nothing but alpha beta so i write it as a into x square minus of alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta so this expression is equivalent to this second you can also write by factorization as x minus alpha into x minus beta you see the product of these two is this itself so here i mean to say the observation is if at all you want to write a quadratic expression whose roots are alpha comma beta that means i want to write the qe with roots alpha comma beta i can write like a into x minus alpha into x minus beta equal to 0 or i can also write like x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta equal to 0 that is x square minus sum of the roots into x plus product of the roots is equal to 0 this is the point if at all you want to write a quadratic equation with the desired roots you are given the roots alpha comma beta beta the equation is going to be x square minus sum of those two roots into x plus product of the roots is equal to 0 by this observation now let us take up this problem form the quadratic equation with roots 3 comma minus 2 so roots are given i want the quadratic equation immediately we have the formula like x square minus sum of the roots into x plus product of the roots is equal to 0 now this is x square minus sum of the roots is going to be 3 plus minus 2 into x plus product of the roots 3 into minus 2 is equal to 0 and hence it is x square minus x minus 6 is equal to 0 in this way if the roots are given i can form the quadratic equation you see another example form the quadratic equation with roots 2 plus root 3 2 minus root 3 that means he has given the roots like alpha beta i want the quadratic equation immediately recall the formula x square minus of sum of the roots into x plus product of the roots is equal to 0 which is x square minus of sum is going to be you need to sum 2 plus root 3 2 minus root 3 you can add directly it is going to be 4 x plus product of the roots you know it is like x plus y x minus y the product is going to be x square minus y square this is the product equal to 0 and hence it is x square minus 4x plus 1 equal to 0 is the quadratic equation you see this problem if alpha beta are the roots of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 then form the quadratic equation with roots p alpha p beta where p is some real number the answer must be in terms of a b c p that is for this quadratic equation the roots are alpha comma beta i need to form a quadratic equation with roots p alpha p beta for that let us just take up the direct equation what will be the equation with roots p alpha p beta it is x square minus sum of the roots that is p alpha plus p beta into x plus product of the roots is p square alpha beta is equal to 0 this is sum of the roots this is product of the roots p alpha into p beta now i can write as x square minus p into alpha plus beta into x 
प्लस पी स्क्वेर इंटू आलफा बीटा इक्वल टू जीरो वेर एज आलफा प्लस बीटा इज सम ऑफ द रूट ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन यू कैन नोट दैट फॉर दिस इक्वेशन alpha plus beta is going to be minus b by a and alpha beta is going to be c by a now those two things i am going to use here p into minus b by a into x plus p square into c by a is equal to 0 now since a not equal to 0 which is coefficient of x square in a quadratic equation you can multiply with a so that you will get a x square plus b p x plus c p square equal to 0 is the required equation it's a simple i want a quadratic equation with p alpha p beta as the roots I have applied the formula. I have taken p common. Here, alpha plus beta, alpha beta appeared, which are the roots of this equation. So, alpha plus beta can be replaced by minus b by a. Alpha beta can be replaced by c by a. I have replaced. I got an equation in terms of x. Of course, x is the variable. The coefficients are a, b, c, p terms. It is. That's what he asked us to find. So, this is the answer. Suppose the roots of the two quadrants